To locate the ulnar nerve, extend the patient's wrist and the ulnar groove will become visible. Place the stimulating electrodes directly over the groove, just proximal to the wrist crease. Press down firmly to ensure adhesion. The EMG or electromyography recording electrodes are placed over the adductor pollicis, just distal to the thenar eminence, and on the first dorsal interosseous muscle on the back of the hand. The ground electrode is placed on the index finger. Wrap the J-shaped cutout around the patient's thumb and press electrodes one and two over the adductor pollicis and first dorsal interosseous muscles and place the ground electrode on the index finger. Press down firmly on all electrodes to ensure adhesion. Connect the electrode to the cable, making sure that the arrows are pointing up and towards each other. If desired, a gauze can be placed under the cable to minimize skin compression. Tape the cable in place to prevent it from pulling on the electrode. After the patient is anesthetized, but before administering neuromuscular blocking agent, press play on the Twitch View monitor. The monitor will immediately begin stimulation as it determines which EMG recording electrode provides the best signal, sets the supramaximal current or the optimal stimulating milliamperage, and begins train of four monitoring at 20 second intervals. On the left side of the screen, you will see the raw EMG waveform. On the right side of the screen, you will see the most recent train of four measurement. The blue bar represents the patient's pre-paralytic measurement, and the orange bars represent real-time measurements or twitches. After paralytic is administered, you will see pharmacodynamics in action. When four twitches are present, the monitor will measure the train of four ratio, or the ratio of T4 to T1. Once the fourth twitch disappears, the monitor will measure the train of four count. The first time the monitor measures a train of four count of zero, it will ask if you'd like to proceed with post-tetanic count. If OK is selected, the system will automatically transition between train of four and post-tetanic count modes according to the patient's level of paralysis for the duration of the case. If cancel is selected, the monitor will remain in train of four mode. Prior to every post-tetanic measurement, the monitor runs a train of four. If there is no response, the monitor will proceed with tetanic stimulation followed by single twitches. The post-tetanic count can range from zero to 15. A post-tetanic count of zero represents profound paralysis and the post tetanic count of 15 indicates that the patient will respond to train of four stimulation soon. post tetanic count mode defaults to five minute measurement intervals. When a response to train of four is registered, the monitor will automatically transition back into train of four mode. A stat measurement can be taken by pressing pause and then play. To change the measurement interval, touch the countdown timer and toggle to the desired time. Press play to resume monitoring. In addition to real-time measurements, the Twitch view also displays a graphical representation of the patient's measurements throughout the case. Each measurement is plotted as a point on the graph. A plot in the green portion of the chart represents a train of four ratio of 90% or greater. A point in black represents a train of four count of four 
with a train of four ratio below 90%. Light gray represents a train of four count between zero and three. And dark gray represents a post-Titanic count measurement. The trend plot can be scaled to display short windows of time down to 15 minutes and longer windows of time up to eight hours. During longer cases, you can scroll back to view earlier periods of time. Once reversal is administered, you can see patient recovery in real time. And you can confirm a train of four ratio of greater than 90% is achieved prior to extubation. A train of four ratio of greater than 90% is indicated by the green highlight. Once the patient is awake, pause monitoring. To reset the monitor for the next patient, press the menu icon, new session, and then OK. If the patient is paralyzed prior to startup, the monitor will default to 60 milliamps and measure electrode 1. The measurements will be accurate, but you will not see the pre-paralytic blue bar. Using real-time measurements and the patient-specific trend plot as a guide, you can titrate paralytic to proactively manage a desired depth of block and determine the optimal reversal drug and dosage.